Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a rectangular prism of base 40 mm and 25 mm, that is the length and the width of the rectangle, and then the height of the prism being 65 mm, resting on its base on the HP with the longer side inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. Also, it is cut by a plane which is inclined to HP at 40 degrees and is perpendicular to VP and is passing through the mid height that is the center point of the axis of the rectangular prism. We need to draw the development of the remaining portion of the prism. So that is the remaining lower half of the prism, whichever is there on the HP after the top portion of the prism is cut by the cutting plane. So we need to draft the solution for this problem statement. So let us begin by constructing the xy line of thickness 0.13 and also construct a rectangle. So before we construct the rectangle, we need to understand that the longer edge is inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So we shall draw a line inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane on which we are going to construct the longer edge of the rectangle. So, be so with this we have completed the construction of the top and the front view of the rectangular prism as per the problem statement which states that we have got the longer edge of the rectangular prism resting on HP with its longer edge inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So this marks the first position of the problem statement. So we have got the axis length to equal to 65 mm and then we are going to construct the cutting plane now. So the cutting plane is going to pass through the midpoint of the axis line and is inclined to the HP at an angle of 40 degrees. So we need to identify the midpoint. So for that go to the interlace sketch and select the midpoint option and place the cursor on this line. So if you go for the line option you can just get the midpoint of this line. So from here, let us draw the cutting plane, which is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees. Use the extend to next option and extend this cutting plane to intersect all the other edges. So this portion of the prism is removed and we have got the lower portion of the rectangular prism whose development has to be shown. So for that, go for the line option again and then darken the lower half of this rectangular prism using the lines of thickness 0 0.50 mm. So the axis line need not be shown. Show the dark lines only for the corresponding edges. And also we can see that the cutting plane is intersecting the rectangular uh, faces at the corresponding uh, edge lines only. So the top view of this rectangular prism should also be highlighted because the points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 will also lie along this corners only. So go to the annotation now and identify the points of intersection of the cutting plane along the corresponding edges. So A1 dash and A dash is intersected at the point 1 dash by the cutting plane in the front view and it is 1 in the top view and similarly b1 dash and b dash is intersected at the point 2 dash and 2 and then we have got the next edge that is c1 dash and c dash at the point 3 so 3 dash in the uh, front view and point 3 in the top view similarly we have got d1 and d dash intersected at the point 4 so this is 4 dash here and this is just the point 4 here on the top view. So these are the points. So we can indicate the axis O01. So now we need to show the development of this. So what we will do is we are going to use the line option again of thickness 0.13 mm. So we are going to construct the initial position of the rectangular prism in the cut section manner. So it is having a length of 25 
followed by 40 and again 25 followed by 40. So we'll keep the midpoint off so that there are no confusions to draw the lines. So now we shall draw the height of the prism. So from the base, draw the height which is equal to 65 mm and then draw the remaining three faces of the rectangle. So since all the points are lying on the edge lines, we can just draw the horizontal projection lines. So this is A1 and this is again A1 here, AA1 and then the edge BB1 is here intersected by the point 2 and then 3 is here CC1. Similarly we have got 4, 4 1 to meet the line of DD1. So we can go for the annotation and then annotate the points. So this is A, B, C, D and A again. And here we have got the lower portion that is A1, B1, C1, D1 and next we have got the point A1. So these are the points of intersection. So this is one here we have got the point two followed by the point three four and then back to one so use the line option of thickness 0 0.50 mm so let us begin with intersecting all the points that is one two three four and then one and complete the lower portion of the cut portion of the prism So show these crease lines, that is the points on the edges. So this completes the development and you can tell that this is the development of the lower portion of the rectangular prism. So you can use the smart dimension to show the height of the prism. And also this is equal to 40 mm, this is equal to 25, the total length will be equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. So with this we have completed the problem statement. To summarize, we have got a rectangular prism which is inclined to VP on one of its longer edges at an angle of 30 degrees and resting on the base of the prism. And then we have got its height to be equal to 65 mm and then we have got a cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane which is passing through the midpoint of the axis and is inclined to the xy line at an angle of 40 degrees. So this is the angle of 40 degrees and then you can show the point of bisection. So this is 32.5. So we have got all the salient points on the corresponding edge lines and those are projected by taking the horizontal projection lines on the cut section of the rectangular prism and the similar points are joined by using the darker lines and the development of the lower portion of the rectangular prism is as shown here. With this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.